Well, hello, everyone. I bet you a quarter you can figure out what our next topic is. Get it? Because the Third Amendment protects us against soldiers quartering in our home. <laughs> anyway, what are your objectives for this movie? First, you should be able to explain what quartering is. And if you were breathing in my class in seventh grade, you better be able to explain what that is. Um, also, to that end, looking back on what we learned about the American Revolution, how does the Third Amendment address concerns that the people had during that time period? Um, and lastly, by the end of this, I want you to be able to analyze, well, how, what does the Third Amendment mean um, to the world today in 2015? So, what does the Third Amendment say? Well, it says that soldiers during times of peace cannot forcibly quarter themselves in your home. Um, essentially, you can't be hanging out, getting ready to watch Scooby-Doo um, or whatever you watch at home um, and have a bunch of soldiers knock on the door and demand that you give up your bed, give up your kitchen, give up your quarters, your homes, to them to make their headquarters. Um, those soldiers that they're quartering in your home, they basically make your home their home and you're pushed out or even have to serve them. This was a major problem during the American Revolution. We talked about this, the Intolerable Acts, and other laws uh, were passed uh, that allowed British soldiers to forcibly quarter themselves in American colonists' house. The Americans had to give up their home, their beds, uh, their lives within their home, and in many essence, their security to these foreign soldiers who said that, you know, we have a right to go and stay in your home. Um... This one's pretty point blank in what it's saying. Um, but how does this apply to the world today? Uh, one of the questions that comes up uh, will be reflected in our next question. So, Third Amendment states that soldiers can't forcibly court themselves in your home. But does this amendment apply to all government agents, not just soldiers? Let's say, for example, the police. Um, who may want to use your home as a base of operations. Let's say if the police thought that your neighbor was running a smuggling operation and they wanted to stake out in your home, to stay in your home, to watch your neighbor, to basically be there 24-7, could they force you to give up your home for them to work out of? Or could you say, no, I don't want you in my home um, I, I'm protected by the Third Amendment. So should the Third Amendment apply not just to soldiers, but to the police? This is actually a current case in the books right now. So let's see what you think if you were to judge. Should this only ap apply to soldiers or should it apply to all government agents? Write out an argument for either side and you'll be done with your requirements for the Third Amendment. Thanks for watching this. And when you're all finished, move on to the Fourth Amendment, and we'll have lots of fun with your habeas corpus rights. Until then, give no quarter.